Hello everybody, today I'm going to be trying old fashioned candies. Now if you need her, considering that so I'm going to ring the bell. So, I did some food reviews on my channel before, but they weren't good. Um, but I decided to do some candy, like old fashioned candies, because I'm kind of interested in that nostalgic vibe that I get from them. Um, I have a lot, and I didn't think I ordered as much as I actually did. There are some, uh, candies in here that you can't really get in stores, unless if there's, like, specialty stores where you can get, like, candies like these. But, most of these are chocolate, but there are a couple exceptions. But yeah, let's get started. The first one is Charleston Shoe. Now, I know that you can get this in stores still, still, sometimes. They're kind of a little bit hard to find. This is the vanilla version. I remember trying this a couple years ago and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I didn't think it was that great of a bar. It's like chocolate and it's kind of like a little bit of marshmallow inside of it. Um, it's actually a pretty big bar for the cost. Sometimes like they reduce like uh, portion sizes. So yeah. The thing is, it's, it's kind of like marshmallow. I almost want to describe it as taffy, but I don't think it is. I still, I think it's fine, but this is not like my first choice if I wanted like an old school candy bar. Yeah, I just don't really like the inside that much. I'm not sure why. It just kind of feels like the inside doesn't really have that much flavor. And, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, it's not like it's something I absolutely hate, but, Eh, it's alright. Okay, so the next one is Fifth Avenue. So, I never heard of this bar until I saw the listing. So, basically, I got all these candies from a website called Old Time Candies. They have as much candy as you can think of. And, apparently, this is a crunchy peanut butter, uh, bar. And, maybe this might replace what the original Butterfinger was, because they got rid of that recently. But, this is a crunchy peanut butter bar in a rich chocolate coating. So, I never tried this before, so I don't know what to expect. Looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, it really, it gives me old fashioned Butterfinger vibes. This uh, peanut butter in here is so much better than like the new Butterfinger. I still think it's not as good. I don't know if it's fair to compare it to the original Butterfinger, but I think it's actually pretty good. I like this one way better than Charles and Chew personally, but probably not something I would have all the time, but it's pretty good, so. All right, next one is Vallow Milk. Now, I've never heard of this one. It's a creamy flowing marshmallow in two milk chocolate cups. See, the thing is, I used to eat a lot of chocolate, but when you're eating so much now as an adult, it just isn't as fun anymore. Whoa, that looks eerily similar to a peanut butter cup. Almost exactly the same. It's a little thicker, but this is giving really Reese's, uh, Reese's vibes. Um, yeah, here you go. Hmm. Okay. So, the chocolate isn't that great, personally. This marshmallow is weird. I mean, I know it's marshmallow, but something about it just feels off. I don't know. Like, I'm not a fan, but... Not like I absolutely hate them, but I just, I would rather have the Fifth Avenue bar because, like, Marshmallow and I sometimes get along, like, like for, like, s'mores and stuff is cool, but this is just, I don't know, that's kind of weird. So the next one is Cream Savers. Now, I have, like, a whole two packs, so hopefully I do like it. So I heard that this snack or candy got discontinued a long time, or a while ago. And there's so much of an outcry that they decided to return it, which was really recent. I remember people saying that they were really good, so I hope they are. I hopefully this will be good because I do like strawberry things. No, that's not bad. It's pretty good. I think the kind of the issue is is that it's a little bit less flavor than I would expect it to be. It takes a little bit to actually taste it, but it's not bad. Um. 
I'm not gonna eat this whole thing though. All right, so the next one is Whoppers. So I don't mind Whopper Whoppers. People hate them, and I know this is kind of a little bit cheating because it's like an existing candy now, but I see so many people talking about how terrible Whoppers are. Yeah, so there's, that's a lot of them. So these are like malt balls with milk chocolate. Um, I, I hope these haven't changed because like, I remember I really used to like these when no one else did, so yeah. I don't get the hate for these. These are good. Not sure if I would eat a whole box of them, but they're good. I'm not sure what the hate is for. Because I remember they would get, I would get like the three like paper, like the small ones. And they're good. I don't know what the problem with these people hating on. I mean, maybe in comparison to the other candies are much more popular. Maybe that's why they get hated, but I don't hate them. Okay, so I want to get this one out of the way. Necco wafers. Oh, these have been made since 1847. So that's why they're so old. But I hear these are horrible. So I want to get to this before I get to the last two because I don't want to end the video on a bad note. So I've never tried these before. I heard of like them getting discontinued for a while, but now they're back, which um, I just don't, I'm not looking forward to this at all. I mean, I don't, I don't hate wafers, but I just, something about it is weird, man. Yeah, so it's best expired or before 2025. So that's like three years old. I, we, I could save these forever if I wanted to. Let's do a red one. I don't even know what the flavors are. Oh, it already feels like chalk on my hands. Ah, uh, okay, let me try this. Oh my god! Ah! Wait, what? Oh, what is that, man? Hi, what? Okay, so, here's the problem. The texture is the main problem. The flavor is eh. But I just don't like that chalky texture. It just doesn't work. And it's really hard to chew more than I thought it would be. These are horrible. Like, stop making these. These suck. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because, like, I heard people hate them so much. But these are horrible. Okay, so I'm glad I just didn't save those until the end because that would be a big disappointment. I mean, I wasn't having much high hopes for them at to begin with, but those are horrible. Those are terrible, but let's do Pop Rocks next. Pop Rocks, I've, it's been kind of difficulty finding them recently. I haven't had these in years, so I wonder if it's gonna be the same. This is a strawberry version. Um, these are bigger packets. I think the, I think the ones that I remember getting are like the smaller ones, but um, this is basically just sugar, let's admit it. But uh, yeah. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Uh, yeah, it's a tasty explosion. That's loud. They're not bad. After what we have with that Necco wafers bullcrap, this is like refreshing of flavor. It's not something I would have all the time, but it's kind of cool seeing that these still exist, even though it's basically just sugar. But, um, yeah, this is... This is good. So this is one that I remember is Jawbusters. So I know that I'm not the biggest fan of Jawbreakers, really, like the big ones. There was one time I got one from Silver City. I didn't finish it. I got to like halfway. I saved it for like months and I tried to finish it. And after a while, I'm just like, screw it. It's I've never seen anyone finish a Jawbreaker. Like it's never that is that big. But I remember getting these on Halloween sometime, and I haven't had these in a long time. I'm very interested to see. These are five flavors. I remember really liking these. And I also do like uh, Everlasting Gobstoppers, too. Here you go. Okay, the flavor's starting to come in. It was delaying for a second. It's okay. I, I prefer Everlasting Gobstoppers because, like, they're bigger and 
they have more flavor. I just prefer Everlasting Gobstoppers. I think the flavor is a lot better, but they're not bad, so. All right, so the best last, well, that's kind of an overstatement, candy cigarettes. Yes, they still sell these. So when I first saw the old time candy website, I heard about the whole candy cigarettes controversy. Those horrible, like, like boxes of like the 50s where they age really bad. I think they renamed them the candy sticks because they're like way less controversial. I don't smoke personally, so I I don't know what these will look like, but these might be crushed though because they're, they were delivery. Oh, it doesn't look that great. It just, just looks like sticks of sugar, honestly. I'm hoping these are like just not sugar. Like they'll have some flavor, which I don't know why I think that. Yeah, I don't smoke personally. I don't condone it. But, um, yeah, let's try it. It looks like a legit cigarette. That literally tastes like nothing. Like... What? I literally taste nothing there. Like, nothing. That is really strange. I mean, I wasn't having high expectations, but... At least with the other candy bars that are like have some flavor even though they're terrible this just has nothing it tastes like it literally tastes like nothing so yeah so candy cigarettes i don't like i did see that there was a chocolate and bubblegum version which i probably should have got like these are just not inoffensive they're nothing to me so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video i tried to do something a little bit different with all these candies well, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.